fine Mr. Carnaby. That must be your 12th piece of pie. Yours is the best pie ever tasted, Millie. Oh, thank you, Mr. Carnaby. Oh, Adam. Adam. Your pa sure works you hard, huh? Oh, Mr. Brookins isn't my pa. Both my parents passed more than a year ago, and I moved into town someone's back. All alone? Well, I can take care of myself. <laughs> I can see that. Oh, Millie, just a minute. I got to do this first. Now you listen to me. Millie, how about marrying me? <laughs> Millie, uh, did you hear me? Sure, I did. I don't know anything about you. How you live and things. Oh, I got a farm. A good farm. There's a house on it. There's timberland and high grazing meadows. There's sheep and milk cows and 50 acres of wheat. Well, the only thing it ain't got, it ain't got a woman. So how about it? Just like that? Um, well, I know it's kind of short notice. <laughs> well, we should have met on a Sunday, leaving church. Then six months later, I would have asked you, could I walk you home? And then for the next two or three years, I would have sat in your front parlor every Wednesday night. And then finally, I would have asked your pa, could I marry you? At least that's how my ma would have wanted me to do it. But here I ain't got no time. I gotta get back tonight to tend to my stock. Well, this'll be another five months before I get down here again. Now, are you gonna keep me waiting for all those five months? Just for your pride? Well, I'd have to finish my chores first. I knew it the minute I set my eyes on you. You was the gal for me. up at the farm. About 12 miles. Most people think that would be pretty lonely. But I can stand some loneliness after this restaurant. Yeah. Always when I hear those rowdy men yelling for their dinner, I think how wonderful it would be to have just one man to cook and care for. Yeah, well, my wagon's down the grove. I'll rustle up the preacher and get us arranged. I'm gonna get cleaned up a bit. And I'll meet you here in ten minutes. Millie, are you thinking about spending time alone with Adam Foxy? Well, I guess you could say that. Sort of. My mama would say she was chaperone. Millie, I'm surprised at you. She won't let mom to They're capable of anything. I heard they had a new bear back in night. Well, he's do you like him, Millie? Well, I guess so. We're getting married. <gasps> getting married? I didn't even know you have been courted. I wasn't. I just got three years' worth in five minutes. <laughs> oh, Millie, that's so romantic. Love at first sight. <laughs> well, I can't believe it either. Oh, Millie. Well, I gotta hurry. Go ahead and clean up. And I'll do the back. Don't forget my book. Oh, we'll never see our Millie again. Don't worry, Lisa. She'll be back before the first snow. Millie, there's something you should know about Adam and his family. Well, I know all I need to know. There's goodness in his eyes, just like my pa had. I always dreamed a man like that would come and take me away. I'm worried about you and your dreaming. When you wake up, you're going to be married. Mine for life.
could have married long ago. I should know when Alice came proposing. Banker's feet and preachers too who were among the men I could have chosen. Kept my feet on the ground. up there. Meet your sister-in-law. This here's my brother, Caleb. This here's my wife, Molly. Brother? How are you, brother Caleb? Your wife? Well, be a monkey's uncle. Hey, F, Dad, they got married. This here's my brothers, Ephraim and Daniel. How are you, brother Ephraim, brother Daniel? Which one of you is Ephraim and which is Daniel? Me. Me. Oh, and here comes Benjamin. How are you, brother Benjamin? Fine. See y'all live around here? Not round. Here. Oh, you didn't tell me you had brothers. Well, uh, I guess.